you're watching this video, you probably have a vehicle that's doing the same thing this vehicle uh, behind me is doing. I'll give you a little clip here. Okay, so this vehicle came here and the customer said he was having a, a issue with reduced engine power showing up on the dash and then the vehicle would lose power and it'd go five miles an hour. The only other thing he told me was that the service brake light came on. It took me two failed attempts at repairing this vehicle before I realized uh, every time it had a failure it was directly related to bumps in the road. I live on a paved road so he lives on a dirt road. He didn't tell me that every time he hits a a bump that's when the vehicle acts up so uh, this is going to apply to anything on the GM platform in the truck model so it could be a, a Chevy Silverado or a GMC Sierra a Yukon a, a Tahoe a Suburban it could even be a Cadillac uh, Escalade so I'm going to save you the frustration that I had over the past couple days and I'm going to just show you what the, what the issue is here So on the top of this cover right here, there's an 8 millimeter bolt. Just loosen that bolt. The bolt won't come out. Just loosen it up. Pull this cover out of your way. Now you can see, I already ran a whole bunch of grounds trying to uh, solve the problem. All over, I grounded the, uh, I, gr I just ran a whole bunch of grounds. None of that fixed it. I thought for sure I had a, a, a loose ground, and I, I thought right. So right now, the key is on, on the vehicle. And looking back here, on the passenger side of the intake, there's this little tiny black wire coming out of this harness. Now listen when I wiggle this wire. So the noise, the noise that you're hearing, the clicking sound, is the fuel pump relay. Actually, maybe a couple relays in the in the relay box there. And then I don't know if you can hear it, I can hear it, but the fuel pump actually kicks on and off. And that's one of the things this truck was doing. Uh, you'd hit a bump and the engine would die out. And then you'd hit another bump and the engine would come back to life. Along with all the gauges and lights going absolute, just wonky inside the dash. So, I'm going to assume that the issue is down where this wire is grounding. I'm going to cut this wire and I'm going to apply a direct ground to it and see if that solves our, our problem. Oh, I just barely tugged on that wire and she separated. So that's our problem right there. I think what I'm going to do is strip it, strip it down, solder another piece of wire on and bring it over here and ground it to this ground right here. Okay, I'm going to pull this 10 millimeter nut off right here, clean that up, and I'm going to attach that ground right there, and we should be good to go.
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw the engine cover back on because I'm confident that we fixed it this time. Okay, let's go take it for a drive. Okay, we're sitting back in the truck with the key on. You can see the uh, reduced engine power is still displayed. And then we come down here to the scanner and we've got three codes. And these are the same three codes I've had since the very beginning. Throttle actuator control module, uh, actuator position performance, Throttle actual control module performance and loss communication. So these are the three codes that made me suspect that we had a ground issue. Um, and that's why I started chasing down all those grounds and putting unnecessary grounds all over the engine bay until I found the one that was the issue. So let's go ahead and clear, clear this out and let's uh, clear fault code. Yes success it says okay it appears we're good to go let's take her for a drive and see that's a good sign we don't have to go far I take this little back road out of here and all these bumps shut the truck right off last time. Just goes to show how important a little tiny ground wire can be fixed all those problems. If this helped you fix your vehicle, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and check out my other content. Thank you for watching.